meet the fastest man on the planet. Last June, Asafa Powell set a new 100-meter world record of 9.77 seconds. In doing so, the Jamaican became the owner of one of the most prestigious titles in sport. We traveled to Kingston recently to catch up with the 23-year-old Sprint King who's confident of producing even faster times. Well, it's possible. Um, I was really thinking of thinking if it's possible to go 9, 6, 7, 6, 9 or 6, 8. But, um, you know, I have to leave that for the future. And um, But I, I'm really looking to go under 977 right now. Growing up in a small village outside of Kingston, Powell was always fast as a youngster. But his big passion was soccer rather than athletics. However, a toe injury curtailed his hopes of a career in football and led to him making the switch to track at the age of 18. In 2001, in his last year of high school, he competed at the Jamaican Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. Although he got disqualified in the final, his performances en route did enough to attract the attention of coach Stephen Francis. The former shot putter has been Powell's trainer ever since. I was more interested to see what his, um, what his attitude to our training was like. I mean, how well he responded to orders and, and suggestions. You know, I always felt that he could he could develop into a good sprinter, um, but it wasn't until after working with him for a while that I realized that he was going to be um, something more than good. It took only a few years for the naturally talented Powell to emerge as one of the hottest prospects in the world of track and field. At six foot three inches and thirteen and a half stone, Asafa is unusual in the world of sprinting in that he's a fast starting big man. I think Asafa can start as well as the smallest guys. You know, um, and he also has that strong finish. So, you know, I think that is a very powerful combination to, to, to have. In the season leading up to the 2004 Olympics in Greece, the Jamaican remained unbeaten and was one of the favorites for gold. However, his inexperience on the big stage proved decisive, and he finished fifth. The last Olympics, you know, that was my first time really going through four rounds. So in the final, like, you know, I ran sub tens all through the rounds. So, you know, I, I didn't know that I was going to really get that sore and you know, that tired. So, you know, they just got away from me. Almost a year after the Olympics, Powell broke Tim Montgomery's world record. But a groin injury prevented him from underlining his status as the fastest man around at the World Championships a couple of months later. His absence from the Worlds also denied him a rematch with Olympic and world champion Justin Gatlin, who has emerged as Powell's main competitor in the 100 metres. Gatlin and Powell's rivalry looks set to define sprinting over the next five years and could become one of athletics' greatest duels. If you had no competition in the 100 meter, it would, it would be a disaster. You know, people would just say, oh, he's going to win, and you know, no one would be excited about it. So it's, it's good for me, you know, to have someone to really push me, and it's good for him also. Jamaica is a country with a rich tradition in sprinting. The Caribbean island has won 38 Olympic medals in sprinting since 1948. Almost all of the nation's talent first comes to prominence at the annual Boys and Girls Athletics Championships. This year's event held at the National Stadium in Kingston, Asafa is one of the guests of honor. Since breaking the world record, the 23-year-old has seen his profile rise dramatically in his homeland. The Jamaican government gave him some land after he set the record, and since winning two golds at the recent Commonwealth Games in Australia, local authorities in Kingston have said they'll build him his own house. A shy and humble man who's slowly getting used to life in the spotlight and has emerged as a positive role model in a country where an alarming number of disillusioned youngsters turn to gangs and guns as a way of life. 
You know, a lot of times I see some kids on the street um, has nothing to do, not going to school or anything. They're on the street begging, washing car glasses. And, you know, when they see me, like, they ask me, you know, like, oh, how do I manage to run so fast? What can they do to, to really to start running? And all that, you know, and I really I just talk to them, tell them that, you know, they have to start training and take it seriously. The kids, they're just really excited to meet me and, you know, just to get an autograph means a lot to them. So um, that, that makes me feel good and to know that, you know, I can motivate people, can be an inspiration to people. It's just a good feeling. Asatha is the youngest of Sislin Powell's six sons. Both his mom and dad are pastors in his home village of Orangefield, about an hour's drive from Kingston. Faith plays a huge part in his life, and as often as he can, Asafa makes the trip back home on Sundays to play bass in the church band. It was Asafa's faith that helped him to overcome two tragedies in his life. In 2002, his brother Michael was murdered in New York, and months later, another brother, Vaughan, collapsed and died on a football pitch. Just to see my parents in tears and, you know, my, mom, my mother cannot recover from it. It just gives me the, the, the strength to really try and try to make them happy again. Their youngest son's success in athletics has done a lot to rekindle the Powell family's faith. Asafa's visit to church was his first since returning from the Commonwealth Games. Three old friends used the opportunity to surprise him with a song. In just a few years, the Safa Powell has gone from novice sprinter to the fastest man on the planet. If he continues his progress and handles the big occasions, he may well go down in history as one of the greatest 100-meter runners ever. But, as is in keeping with the nature of the man, Asafa's not getting carried away with his success and remains focused on the months ahead. Well, I know the season, it doesn't really have any other major championships um, for the rest of the season. It's just the, the Golden Leagues and the Grand Prix. And, um, you know, that's the main focus. Just want to go there and try and win all my races and just try and remain on top. <laughs>